some emotional and eye-opening testimony this week from career diplomats on Capitol Hill about those terrorist attacks at the American diplomatic posts in Benghazi. Some potentially damaging news on the White House and Obama administration's editing of the talking points about the attack came today. Talking points were intended for members of Congress in one of the 12 drafts. It stated that, quote, since April 2012, the agency, meaning the CIA, has produced numerous pieces on the threat of extremists linked to al-Qaeda in Benghazi and eastern Libya. These noted that since April, there have been at least five other attacks against foreign interests in Benghazi by unidentified assailants, including the June attack against the British ambassador's convoy. That was in the talking points. But as seen in email excerpts obtained by CNN, State Department spokeswoman Victoria Newland wrote to administration colleagues that, quote, that point could be abused to beat the State Department for not paying attention to agency CIA warnings. So why do we want to feed that? The paragraph was removed. Just minutes ago in the briefing room, room, White House spokesman Jay Carney faced a barrage of questions about the emails, which we should note were first reported by the Weekly Standard and then ABC News. First of all, the, the CIA it, you know, was the agency that made changes to the edits and I mean to the talking points and then produced the talking points. First of all, second of all, I think the uh, overriding concern of everyone involved in that circumstance is always to make sure that we're not giving to uh, those who speak in public about these issues information that uh, is cannot be confirmed, uh, speculation about who is responsible, uh, other things like warnings that may or may not be relevant to what we ultimately learn about what happened and why. This comes after Gregory Hicks, the deputy chief of mission at the U.S. Embassy in Libya during the Benghazi attack, told investigators that he thought the Benghazi siege was a terrorist attack from the get-go. Hicks was one of three diplomats who testified in front of a House committee on Wednesday. The administration says all these accusations are just political hit pieces, but grieving family members, such as Pat Smith, mother of Sean Smith, who was killed at Benghazi, they have no horse in the race, and they have now gone eight agonizing months without answers. I wish you had gotten answers. Oh, so do I. I begged for answers. When I was there at the, the casket ceremony, Obama and Hillary and Biden and Panetta and a lot, uh, several more said that uh, they would let me know. Not one of them has called me. None. They don't care. I'm not important to them. House Speaker John Boehner now wants President Obama to release emails that Boehner says show how the White House tried to change the story on what happened in Benghazi. We asked the White House today to answer our question. CNN also asked the ranking Democrat on the House Oversight Committee, but he also declined. I want to welcome Congressman Jim Jordan, a Republican from Ohio who's a member of the House Oversight Committee. Committee. Uh, Congressman, thanks for being here. You heard uh, Jay Carney earlier today uh, talking about this issue. Uh, what yeah. is your response? What do you think about these talking points? Twelve different edits. I mean, you know, the truth, Jake. Twelve different times they changed this. You know, I was thinking, uh, I went through a few different um, edits to when I was going to propose to my wife, but it was a lot less than 12. You do not need, if you're going to give the truth, you do not need to go through this kind of process. We just want to get to the truth. And the one thing the committee hearing, I think, proved without a shadow of a doubt this week is they knew the truth. They didn't have Mrs. Rice go out and say the truth. She said something different. It, as as uh, Congressman Gowdy said, demonstrably false statements that she made on five different shows five days after these attacks. That was proven without a doubt in the committee hearing this past week. And so we do need to have happen what Speaker Boehner and Mr. McConnell requested. Let's get the documents so we can all see, so the American people can see. And again, I love what, what Congressman Gowdy said. There is no statute of limitations on the truth. Let's get to the truth. The State Department's response is, this is not, uh, the, these emails are not what they're talking months after the attacks. This was in the days after the attacks, and they're trying to get information from the CIA, the State Department, the Pentagon, the White House, the National Security Council, get everyone on the same page. In their explanation, this was not about obscuring the truth. It was just about sharing information that they knew definitively. Your response? Well, then, 
Let us see it. What, let us see it. We want to get to the truth. What we do know in questioning that came out in this Wednesday's hearing, that had uh, Newland, uh, Miss Mills uh, uh, as, as copies to that email, what we do know in that email is the day after Beth Jones refers to talking to people in Libya that it was a terrorist attack. Mr. Gowdy made that clear in the hearings. So if, if they want, they can say whatever they want. Just show us the documents. Let us have the documents like we're supposed to have when we're conducting a congressional investigation. This is the Oversight Committee. Stop impeding the investigation. And frankly, remember, this goes back to October when Congressman Chaffetz went to Libya and they, for the first time under Mr. Hicks testified, first time ever, State Department sent a lawyer and they instructed Mr. Hicks, do not talk with Congressman Chaffetz unless this lawyer is present. And I asked Mr. Hicks under oath on the witness stand, has that ever happened in your 22 years of service to this country in several diplomatic posts around the world? Have you ever had that kind of order? And he said, never. First and only time. So stop trying to keep us from getting to the truth. Just give us the information. Let's have the hearings and let's let the American people find out what exactly happened. How do you respond to criticisms from Democrats on the committee that, A, uh, the committee, Republicans on the committee were not as interested in attacks on diplomatic posts that happened during the Bush administration? There were uh, at least 64 of them during the Bush administration. And B, that House Republicans voted to cut funding for diplomatic, concert, uh, di diplomatic and security. And Charlene, Bo go ahead. Charlene Lamb testified at the October 12th hearing, the, the, the hearing the Oversight Committee had last, last year. She testified this was not about resources. This was the, the fact that uh, Eric Nordstrom repeatedly asked for additional security personnel to be in uh, Libya was not only denied additional help, but they had, what they had was, was reduced, had nothing to do with resources, according to Charlene Lamb's testimony in front of the committee last October. So the best evidence is the testimony we received from the people who made the decisions. That's what Charlene Lamb said to this resources question that the other party wants to raise. Oh, and Congressman, lastly, you and House Oversight Committee Chairman Issa say you're going to hold responsible officials accountable for the IRS inquiries into certain 501c4 groups, many of them Tea Party groups. What does that mean? What do you and Congressman Issa plan to do? Same thing. Have hearings, get to the truth. Now think about this. We, 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 staff at, at the uh, Oversight Committee have talked to the Inspector General's office. This was over two years looking for key words, looking for Tea Party, looking for 912, systematically targeting conservative leaning groups. Your government doing that to you as an American citizen, exercising your First Amendment rights to be involved in groups that you want to be involved. That is unconscionable, and it went on for a couple of years. And systematically using those words to find people, and let's remember, this is not just some low-level staffer at the IRS in Cincinnati's office. This, the Tea Party groups around the country were targeted. We had complaints from everyone, and that's why Congressman Issa and I sent the letter, and that's why next, next week you'll get the report from the Inspector General. All right, Congressman Jim Jordan, we have to leave it there. We're about to lose the satellite. Thanks so much. Have a good weekend. Thank you.